will need to pull together again as the Earth begins to move beneath Japan. In the pre-dawn hours of January 17, 1995, most of Kobe, Japan, is sleeping. Suddenly, an earthquake strikes. Cameras in all-night convenience stores record the severe shaking. Within minutes, ruptured gas lines explode into flames. Within two hours, fires engulf entire neighborhoods. The earthquake triggers a disaster of devastating proportions. When the smoke clears, the human toll is staggering. 5,500 people are dead, and Japan is in shock. The uh, major infrastructure, roads, highways, bridges were all damaged. Gridlock was extensive, and fire rescue personnel, ambulances, they couldn't get to the scene. Mark Gilarducci is a search and rescue team commander from California. He was at a conference in Japan when the earthquake jolted him out of bed. And it was almost unbelievable that, you know, I traveled all this way to Japan and now am right in the center of, of one of the largest earthquakes to hit a metropolitan area in, in the history of Japan. It was very frightening. Although the country lies in one of the world's most seismically active regions, the extent of the destruction in Kobe had not been anticipated. The shock measured a magnitude 6.9, a moderately large earthquake, but it struck directly beneath the city and produced near record ground motion. Entire neighborhoods crumbled from the shaking. Buildings thought to be able to withstand an earthquake of this size buckled and collapsed. Most of the dead were found beneath the rubble of their homes. In a country with one of the most advanced earthquake building codes, how could so many structures fail? What contributed to the tremendous damage in Kobe was a combination of structural vulnerability, very strong ground shaking, and uh, problems with soils. James Goltz was also in Japan when the earthquake hit. He is a policy analyst who specializes in earthquake hazards. There were clearly residential structures and other buildings uh, that were badly damaged or collapsed which did not meet uh, the current building code. Those buildings were vulnerable and when the ground motion of that earthquake struck those buildings, they collapsed or they were very badly damaged. As the drama unfolded in Kobe, Californians paid particular attention.